Hi. Your speech was wonderful, you? by the way. I'm very well. I'm so I bet you are. How are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so extraordinarily happy to be here. I have a random story. Your sister and your brother I met at the William Morris party. Yes. I spent a lot of time with your sister. How lovely she's is that? Delightful. So I feel I felt like I was part of the fam. She made me a scrapbook tonight, yesterday. She said after that party. I said, let's talk about it at home. You can give me a gift tomorrow. She said, I need to give it to you now. She gave me a scrapbook of everything since my first play, every, everything I did theater-wise, acting-wise, from the age of 13 at Notre Dame High School. And uh, it, it brought me to tears, and so did tonight. Yeah. It's been... It's been an emotional couple of days. I, I bet. I'm gonna sit down now. So you've, you've done quite well during the awards season, but I'm sure that didn't make it relaxing at all for you tonight. Did you have a good luck charm? Did you have a speech? Do you, are you superstitious? I'm, uh, I'm a little superstitious, but I thought, honestly, just, just looking out into the audience and seeing one Lucy, seeing Brian May and Roger Taylor and Queen and the cast, and then my family was there as well. That's all the, uh, all the help I needed. And, and I knew no matter what the outcome, it would be, uh, I would be taken care of no matter what. The fact, yeah, the fact that I just ha have this overwhelming support. And, and I have to say, I'm nominated in a category with Bradley Cooper and Christian Bale, Viggo Mortensen and Willem Dafoe and I'm, I could not ask for more classy, dignified, talented human beings to, uh, to be nominated with and they've been gems, absolute gems throughout the Have song. you all bonded during the award season? Yeah, I have to say, you know, I was, you get worried that it's going to be competitive and now, you know, I, I feel like I've established a relationship with Bradley that's yeah. cool, that we'll hang out in New York, and, and I think with each and every one of them. So it's been a really special moment for me. It, what was it like to open the Oscars with your guys? Looking up on the stage, the very first thing we see in this Oscars is Queen performing. For you, that had to be something. Yeah, it was... Uh, I was worried that it wasn't going to get a chance to happen because they were just going to do j just songs nominated from the film. Hearing them do two songs, one that Brian May wrote, one that Freddie wrote, and uh, are, are just kind of anthems for championing mm -hmm. human beings is the perfect way to start that. I don't remember an Oscars in my life where everyone from the first second stood up in unison mm -hmm. and started clapping uh, uh, together to a song and to words they knew. Yeah. And that's the power of Queen. Right. That's the power of Freddie. Yeah. And it's undeniable. Yeah, I loved it. I gotta tell you, Rami, I thought for a second when you looked out at Lucy and you acknowledged her and you paused, I was like, is he gonna propose to no. her? <laughs> I mean, the look of love and adoration in your face was pretty special to see. Yeah, I, I would save that moment if that ever happens uh, in a more... Strange things happen in these I've moments. I've seen it happen before, yes. and I don't want to take away from anyone's experience, but... Uh, it's just, it's important to... Not only has that lady been... When I looked into her eyes filming, it was palpable how talented she was. Mm -hmm. when you, when you watch that film, you see how much she's giving and everything that's living behind, behind her eyes. And she has been the ultimate support for me. I have had such great support uh, throughout all of this. That cast and crew are incredible. And every day, because of the subject matter, everyone brought so much more than I think they normally would on a film. And I'll tell you this, working as an actor, People go to work as if their life is depending on it. Mm -hmm. And this, is, this was elevated in a way. Um, and so I, I, my gratitude for her and my cast and crew is immense. Uh, but everyone knows, you know, there were hardships on this film. I had, I had... Um, well and, documented. Yeah, well documented. <laughs> my agent's back here. And uh, 
These guys and ladies have got me through so much behind closed doors. Can I ask you and, this? And I'm... Doug Lufterhand's wife, uh, mother, is named Sherry Lufterhand, and I, she loves you and she loves your show, so I have to give her a show. Hi, Sherry. Yeah. She's, I love that. Thank you. Yes. See, All right. You, you said you were not the obvious choice for this role, but you guess it worked out. Did I say that up You there? did. I don't know what, you don't know what's coming to you in I love that. Yeah. You made everybody laugh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's hard to figure out what you're going to say out there, if you're going to say anything. You also kissed Lucy nice and long when you, when your name was called. At that point, you don't care. <laughs> it was fabulous. I had a really nice moment with Mr. DiCaprio last night at, at uh, the night before party mm -hmm. that they do. Uh, here in Hollywood, you can explain that in a second. I will. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, just be prepared no matter what, because it's a big moment, and be grateful. Yep, you were. Thank you. It was really well done. Thank Your mom you so much. will be proud. Little Bubba Rami. That little... What would you say to Little Bubba Rami about tonight? Oh man, I just. I was a shy kid. I, you know, I knew something was going on in the back of my head where I created characters and didn't know what I was going to make of it, whether it was going to take me down a, a dark hole or perhaps <laughs> lead me to something special. Mm -hmm. Never did I ever think it would be as special as this. Yeah. So this is a monumental moment in my life. People say, hey, this could happen again. I don't think that it will, and I'm going to treat it as such. This is one of the most beautiful moments in my life. And I will say, getting to share it with Lucy and the cast and crew and my mom, but especially my entire family. We are such a tight-knit group. And I would not be here without any of them. I think everyone that tunes in to listen to you is mostly family-oriented. And I think you guys could only imagine what it would mean to have something like this. So, hey, thank you for having me. Thank you for sharing your morning with me, or whenever this airs. Tomorrow morning. All right.